Hey guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! My eyebrows have sweat off! It's the hottest day of the year so far, today. It's gonna get up to 40 degrees today. I looked at my makeup this morning and I was like, like that is sliding off my face just by looking at it. I've got my fan, you can probably hear it. Good. Got a little crop top on and I'm gonna pack. Oh, fend me, baby, fend me. <gasps> My cheeks look like I've been in a fight with a Pokemon. <laughs> so hot. Fun fact though, today is, the day of filming this, is Violet's birthday. She is eight years old today and she is at school. No, I'm not a fun mom who will let you skip school. I actually was going to, but this is the first birthday she's ever had at school because other years it's always fallen on a weekend or we've gone away. And she's so excited to take in sweets and hand them out to all the kids at the class. Oh my God, that kid is adorable. She got V-Bucks for her birthday. That's all she asked for. She asked for V-Bucks and a metal detector. So my mum got her a metal detector. Um, she hasn't opened that yet. She'll see my mum later. We got her V-Bucks. So she is, she was almost crying. She gets so obsessed with Fortnite. So today I'm in, not in my pajamas for once, but I'm in like loungy, loungy clothes. Today I'm gonna pack for our holiday. And I wasn't even gonna do this. I wasn't gonna do this. I wasn't gonna do this. We go on holiday next week and i'm usually like so on top of packet no let's just, just tie it up it's sweaty Sweaty. i am usually so on top of packing and getting ready to go and being in control but this year i haven't done anything it's too sweaty i just can't be asked I um, I was kind of just gonna leave it till the last minute and because because how do you pack? You just shove clothes in a suitcase, don't you? Apparently not. So I was on my Patreon live the other day chatting to some of you wonderful bunch, and Charlarella suggested I do a pack with me video. I didn't realise this was a thing, but of course it's YouTube, so everything is a thing. Come work my ass with me is a thing. Is it? <laughs> if it is, I need to get on top of that. So I thought, yeah, let's do it. Pack with me. Then I get a video done. And you get to see what I'm wearing on holiday. So we're there for two weeks. Um, so I was planning on taking seven outfits. I can wash them and wear each one twice while I'm there. Cause it's, um, so we are going on holiday to California. California. No sound party. We're staying in Napomo with Ben's sister. Oh my God. I'm going to Target. I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Hot Topic. Uh, Dollar Tree. I am going to live that American dream. And we got a few things planned. We're going to go and watch. I think we're going to go and watch the birds at an outdoor cinema. Excited for that. We're going to Alcatraz for a day. Always wanted to do Alcatraz, so that is like a huge tick off my bucket list. We are heading to LA, central LA, just for one day. Um, and I'm meeting up with my friend Andrea. Depending on how much money we have, we're gonna go get tattooed. But oh my god, so the train from where we're staying to central LA is uh, $84 each, each way. And we're like, shit, that's three, four hundred dollars just to get the train so if you want to join my patreon and help me pay for the train <laughs> right so let's pack for me holidays this is just my stuff ben's doing his own stuff and then i'll do violets but she's got tiny clothes this is my suitcase but ben's parents who travel to the states quite often they said that this would not be big enough and first i was like i don't know what they're talking about it will be big enough and then i went to pack my shoes and i was like oh yeah maybe this won't be big enough for two whole weeks so they lent us two massive suitcases and you need to see this excuse my washing behind you know when you watch crime shows and they're always like well if he put the body in a suitcase this is a body holding suitcase oh it's got a metal rod in it i don't want to snap it i can fit in this suitcase i did it the other day like i actually can I, got, I had a harder base. I don't want to break the handle. But I can't fit in this suitcase! Violet can definitely fit in the suitcase. So if I decide to kill her while we're on holiday, I can bring her back safely. <laughs> Hope there's no pants on that washing thing. So I'm going to put the suitcase here. I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to take you to my wardrobe and you can help me pick out outfits. But I won't listen to what you say because 
you know, I'm watching it live. So let's go to my wardrobe and pick out seven outfits. Bear in mind that my accessories are going to be very limited, so I want outfits that I can accessorize with just a few pieces, because even though, like, my accessories are usually acrylic, so they're, they're very, very light, some of it's heavy, and I don't want to take shitloads of accessories. I want to take, like, two or three chains that I can mix and match, and belts as well. So, belting. <sighs> Where's Elsa when you need her? I'm melting! I am so hot! I hope I haven't got camel toe. Let's go to my wardrobe and pick out some clothes. Okay, welcome to my wardrobe. <laughs> Come inside. Oh. <gasps> Creepy joker reflection. Creepy or sexy? Answers on a postcard. I've got two fans on. I've just put an extra little fan on because it's so hot. And my brain is just like... I am home. My brain's just going, I want to go home. I want to go home. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Look at you and your sexy, sexy hairiness. You must, you are very hot. Go and have some water for you. He's going on holiday too. You are. You're going to a, um, a lady that loves ferrets. That's your holiday time. Ow, that hurt. Wardrobe. This is everything that I have when I'm constantly like crying to myself. I got no clothes! And then I got some stacked up there as well. I'm probably going to take those trousers, so. <sighs> Seven outfits. Let's do this. So I need to think about this smartly. Yes, I want to wear like cute little outfits oh my god my face looks like a panini i've been grilled yes i want to wear cute little outfits but i need to be realistic it's going to be so hot and in case you can't tell everything i own is black and i can't do the sun i hate the sun i have a beautiful oh my god look at this coat i have a beautiful green faux fur jacket that i have been dying to wear and i can't because it's too hot i got that at a car boot sale for five Pound. So, first outfit. Something I know 100% I want to take is my new Mary Wyatt dress. Um, this one. This is from my most recent Mary Wyatt purchases. It's the black maiden dress and it's got barbed wire on the sleeve. It's canvas material and I slept on this, not literally, for so long. I was like, oh, I don't know if it'll suit me, like, because I'm sure. I don't know if it'll look cute. And I finally got it, and it is expensive. And I was like, oh, it's so much for a dress. But they accept Klarna. <laughs> and now I've got it, I have literally been living in it. It's the most beautiful dress in the whole world. I filmed a lookbook wearing it, and I don't think that's gone up yet. Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn my microphone round, because um, if I'm standing that side of the camera, I have to turn it round. So if my sound keeps going quiet, that's why. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna lay this on my bed and add some accessories to give you a rough idea of what it'll look like and hopefully you'll love it as much as I do. So, outfit one. This is my Mary Wyatt dress. This is my favorite dress in the whole world. This does not do it justice, I swear. I pinky promise you, this is beautiful. So when I wore this for a lookbook the other day, I had this Disturbia belt, this kind of witchy hat, and then my sunglasses. Very cool. It just gave me Gary Oldman Dracula vibes, and I, honestly, you need to see the lookbook because it's so good. I love you too. You want to come on holiday with me? I'm all packed, bye. <laughs> This is all I need on holiday. You're so handsome. So Sexy Phil is here to help. Washing. There's nothing on there I want to wear. I made sure of that. That's pretty cool though. So the hat is a really old hat that I got from Boohoo. And as you can see, it shows up every single speck of dust. Um, it's not as obvious as it is on my camera right now. I don't know why it is so obvious. It definitely needs a lint roll. And then my glasses are from Fermu. And these are amazing. These are prescription and they were about 30, 35 pound. And they come in this little bag. 
and inside this little case for prescription glasses i think they are so good that's where they're from slide it up bitch slide it up, up, up boom this belt is from disturbia i have no idea what it's called but i will put it in the description and it's my favorite belt ever and if you have this maiden dress you need this belt because it goes perfectly with it i cannot show you with one hand i'm really not doing this justice wait till you see my lookbook because this is amazing um i'm not gonna pack this though because i'm pla because it's quite heavy i'm planning on wearing it through the airport yes i'm aware i'll have to take it off go to go through the scanners but i'm gonna try and wear all the heavy stuff i can so it makes my suitcase lighter and my mary wyatt maiden dress is definitely definitely coming with me discount code emily boo on your first 50 plus order on mary wyatt you won't regret it done saying it's done i do need to pack my shoes that are going to go with that so i got these shoes from a store called ego and they're really really nice um i've ne i've only used the store once before i got some um kind of autumny boots there a long time ago and i put these in a haul recently because i absolutely love them but but this is why you shouldn't listen to influencers i was raging on about how much i love these shoes um I'd, I'd worn them once or twice before i put them in the hall now i've worn them about five six times all kind of short walks like to do the school run and they are really badly scuffing considering i know they were cheap but i've only done short walks in them and i feel like over the course of my holiday it might be the death of these which sucks because they are so cute that's fast fashion for you like that one's even worse like just from the few times i've worn them but i am going to take these with me because they are the only shoes that i like summery shoes that i have and they go great with that mary wire dress okay back to the wardrobe i'm gonna speed this up a little bit and do a couple of outfits for this one i know i want to wear that skirt let me grab it I know i want to wear this fun story behind this as well i'll tell you in a second and i need a t-shirt to go with it and i don't even know if i'm gonna pack this because i'm gonna wear it later so i might i'll show you the outfit but i am gonna wear it tonight because <laughs> i'm going out to party i'm going to an all you can eat restaurant but it's the same thing oh that one oh that one hmm a splash of color interesting oh but then i have a skirt i really wanted to take um this skirt so this was in my haul as well and i got this specifically for my holiday and that would go really nice with the salem one okay that was easy two more outfits done all right next two outfits kind of bring it over so you can see a bit better so i have my disturbia salem top fun to story to tell you about that in a moment and i've teamed it with this really nice little jawbreaker skirt i recently put this in a haul oh my god i recently put this in a haul video and it's so good they didn't have my size when i bought it I'm just going to have to move my fan. I'm, just, I'm melting. I'm melting. Originally got it in a size 16 because they didn't have my size. And Jawbreaker does come up very small. And then when I made the video, I was looking up the name of the skirt and they had a size 12. So I sold my size 16 and I bought it again in a 12. Because I was like, at least if I get it in a 16, I've got it. And I can take it in, add some elastic in it just to make it fit a bit better. And it comes with straps as well, like little bones, suspender straps. But I kind of prefer it now without them. Um, plus the way the buttons are sewn, it really annoys me. So on the front, they're sewn on the outside. And on the back, they're sewn on the inside. So if you've got the straps up that's fine it makes no difference but if you have the straps kind of hanging down kind of bondage strappy which is how i would wear them it makes the back fold over and it i don't like that um, it's a little black skeleton skater skirt with a pelvis underneath and then black mesh over the top this is quite 
thick. Um, I, I actually think it'll be too hot, too thick for the California sunshine, but I love it. So I'm gonna take it and just complain about it. And I've teamed this with a Salem t-shirt that I got from Disturbia a few years ago. This is one of my favorite tops. I, it's just so classic and simple and everybody knows what it's about. You know what, you know what happened in Salem. <laughs> On that note, someone actually told me off in a video for wearing this. I think it said me wearing this t-shirt was the same as me wearing a top that said I heart 9-11. It was something weird like that. Um, I can't see the correlation and let me know what you think. I think it's a beautiful top. It's an important part of history where women were just continually treated like shit. Where I live actually in Ipswich, there, it has a really big Ip witch. It has a really big witch history. There was a massive witch finder general here and I was thinking about maybe for Halloween doing a video all about looking up the history of that. Let me know if you'd like to see that because I've been planning to do it for a few years and I just haven't so if you'd like to see it this year let me know. So that is outfit number two. I think sticking to the black and white of these goes really nice. Shoes wise with this outfit I will be wearing these. I'm not going to pack these same as the belt. I'm going to wear them through the airport. Yes they've got metal on them. I will have to take them off but they are they are quite heavy so I figure if I wear them through the airport it's less weight in my in my bag. This skirt and these shoes go so nice together. And I'll also be packing um, a few pairs of these little fishnet shorts. I got these from Primark. I got them actually last year for Bloodstock and I wear them so much. I get chub rub and I also don't like my thighs out. This skirt especially is very, very short. I am four foot 11 and it's short on me. Like if I bend over, you can see my fanny flaps. So wearing something like this, again, there's more fluff in them because it's fishnetty, so it's just getting all entwined. So these, these sort of shorts, they go down to my knees. So it gives me that little sense of added security. And at least if anyone looks up my skirt, they'll see fishnet instead of cobwebs. So outfit number two into the bag. Oh, I need to add accessories. I need to add accessories. So with the Salem top, I will wear this little dagger necklace, which came from Etsy, big O-ring, uh, a big sword, and it kind of goes with the, well, no, it doesn't go with the witchy theme, does it? Because they were <laughs> dunked and burnt alive, but you know and my third outfit sitting right next to that one this skirt i got from depop it's originally from boohoo that is a size 12 i'm just gonna point that it is stretchy but it does kind of shrink back to that size and that is oh it's so tight i got it from depop and it's from originally boohoo and it was white i tried to dye it black because i loved the the style of it i just wanted a baggy kind of midi skirt long skirt but i specifically wanted it this fabric this woven wo the, uh, like woven fabric i think it's so comfortable i see a lot of midi skirts in that viscose polyester fabric um killstar do a lot of them they do they're beautiful but when you walk the wind is gonna blow that right up your chuff and it's gonna give everybody that Y shape. They're all gonna see my pussy pouch. And I didn't want that. So with woven stuff, it does do it still. All flimsy fabric skirts are gonna do it, but it's less, it's less obvious with a woven skirt. Um, and it is Dalmatian print. And I feel like Dalmatian print is really underrated. I dyed it in a tiny saucepan so it's quite patchy <laughs> you can see the patches i definitely need to do it again i didn't have a saucepan big enough i used rit synthetic dye in graphite i usually use dylon washing machine dyes because you just chuck it in the washing machine but this is synthetic and and i think dylon is just for cotton so if you wash something synthetic with a cotton dye it literally just won't do anything even though this was white and I could have put dye on black in, it would not have stuck to the fabric. I had to dye this in a saucepan on my oven on super high heat for half an hour. And I had to just stand there for half an hour, like mixing it up and 
I felt like a little witch. Yeah, I think it worked out all right. And I wear this like right under my boobs and it just kind of flow, it just flows, it flows over my lumps, my bumps, my jiggly bits, my wiggly bits and everything that I don't like. And it, because of the length, it's a bit longer on me than I wanted, but I am 4'11", so even though it said it was a midi skirt, it's like a maxi skirt on me. But I wear this with these shoes, and I actually wore this yesterday to the farm for my daughter's birthday, and, um, oh, I didn't wear those shoes, but I wore the skirt. Because it's dark, I'll jazz it up with a bit of colour. Um, I'm thinking this top. This is from Murder Apparel, and it's got Beetlejuice. It's showtime. This is so cool. Uh, do you know what? Murder Apparel's website, I think, looks so fake. It looks like one of those scammy wish websites where they buy wish stuff. But it's a legit website. Everything's, like, hand-designed. But, uh, but it stresses me out because it looks so fake. And I've just seen these on the floor. And do you know what? I think this skirt with these would go so nice. So I'll probably put it with these rather than the sandals. Skirts like this are so versatile. And I will wear this tucked into this skirt like that. Let's show you. Like that. I'd probably put a belt around this as well. Let me find a belt. I just gone and grabbed a couple of belts. So I was thinking this belt. I've had it for so long. It's just a plain black belt. Big, where are we? Big O-ring, little chain. And I'm, I am kind of thinking that. But then I just found this one, which one of my subscribers sent me. And I think that would look really nice. It's really hard to see, or like, because it's just laying down and the angle and everything. I'm not sure. What do you think? Which belt would you go for? Lots of chains or single chain? Oh, where are we? Single chain. I'm kind of thinking this one now. And then I'll put this hardcore chain, which is my favorite accessory ever. Nice little bit of grunge. Love it. It's kind of a very 90s grungy outfit. I think the skirt especially makes it. So I'm gonna pack that outfit up, but not the skirt because I'm gonna wear it later. We go into an all you can eat buffet later on for Violet's birthday. It's her favorite place ever. It's like a world buffet and you just, oh, I'm melting. You just walk in and they have Chinese food, Indian food, Yorkshire puddings, pizza, lasagna, eating mess, eating mess. It's my favorite dessert in the whole world and yeah that's violet's favorite restaurant so we're going there later for her birthday <laughs> so i need to wear a piece of clothing that expands with me <laughs> also this i will wear this through the airport as well because it's quite heavy so that can go on my wear pile but the top and i'll put this belt but i will change it if you guys say so go into the suitcase three outfits how many more do i need Four. Shit. This is gonna be a long ass video. I need to speed. I need to speed this up a bit. Pajamas. Let's take a break from clothes and do pajamas. I already got these ready. I'm taking my Bambi top and my Little Mermaid pajama trousers. They don't match, but these actually came from Hot Topic, I think. Ben's parents go to uh, the states quite often, and she got me these and a top for Christmas, I think, a couple of years ago. Oh, they're so comfortable. Yeah, a nice thin Bambi top, which came from Primark about four years ago. That's a good point. I haven't packed any pants yet. Might not want to forget the pants. So you go in there. So what are we at? We're still at three outfits. Okay. Right, so we've got um, a long dress. I've got a short skirt and a t-shirt. I've got a long skirt and a t-shirt. How about a trousers? A trousers outfit. So I already know that I wanna take these. The only thing with these is, uh, well, they are so cheaply made. They're all coming unraveled. They're, I do not recommend buying these. <laughs> but oh, I've just noticed all the crotch is worn out. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if I wanna wear them now. <laughs> um, I'll check them on my file. But they do give me massive kangaroo pouch tum. So I need a long t-shirt to go with that. I have a rough idea of the top I want. Hi. Um, I have this restyle. Oh, I forgot I had that. Will you get out of the way? I put you there to help me. Go that side. <sighs> Can't get the staff these days. What am I wearing? No, no, no. I was just saying I need a long top for my kangaroo pouch. Um, oh, I love this top. I made this. I made it on video as well. So I'll, um, I'll link it at the end if you want to see it. Da -da -da. Where is my t-shirt? Has Ben stolen it again? 
Oh, no, here it is. This is uh, one of my favorite restyle t-shirts. It was like 11 pound and I've worn it so much and it hasn't, I'm on my tiptoes, <laughs> and it hasn't faded. It's starting to crack a bit, but I've literally had it for years. So that goes really well with those trousers as a very casual look. So what's that, three, that's four. Let's do some shorts. Oh, hello world. How you doing? The mirror is disgusting. I've got these shorts, but do I have any jorts? No, I'm not cool enough for jorts. And then I've got two pairs of shorts and I know I want to wear, um, oh, I've got you. Hmm. I got this kill style top off um, Depop a few days ago and it's so see-through. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see because my light is behind, but my god, it's see-through. You can see everything through it. So maybe not. Why is there an empty coat hanger in my wardrobe? I got this to go on holiday, so I definitely want to take that. Plus it goes really nice with shorts. Let me see. Let me lay them down and see. <gasps> Let me lick you up and down till you say stop. Right, you're still here, you're still with me on this journey of clothing. Through a sweaty haze of Emily face. I love these, these are really old nasty gal. <gasps> I am indeed. And they are a size 14, but look at that, that's a size 14. So this is why I hate normal brands. Um, but I have had these for freaking years. Yeah, and I have just noticed that the crotch is getting a bit worn. <laughs> Awkward. These go so nice with my new rocks. Um, so this is probably what I will wear to Alcatraz because we are going to San Francisco for them. And, and I've been told it's very cold. Um, and I've been told I'll see seals. So I'm so excited to see seals. So this will probably be my Alcatraz outfit. Plus I think it'll fit in like kind of subtle like <gasps> prison couture. <laughs> Maybe they'll let me stay the night for free. Excuse me, sir. You've been arrested for crimes against fashion. Love this top. Um, I think they still make this one as well. And it goes, I wouldn't tuck this in because these trousers are so tight. Like I said, they show my kangaroo pouch. But that is that outfit, nice and simple. I already knew I wanted to wear this one, so boom. And accessories, I have this double chain necklace, which I got from Vicious Pungs. I really like Vicious Pungs, but they sell absolute trash body jewelry. So they're, they're like chains and stuff I really love, but their body jewelry is literal trash, so do not buy it. This is a very much everyday Emily outfit as well, just if I'm kicking with my friends. <gasps> friends, what are those? Um, just yeah, just baggy t-shirt, stripy trousers, and they're flared as well. And then just a little chain up the top. So I'm not gonna wear any of this through the airport, so this can all go into the bag. I hope you're enjoying this, because this is my first ever pack with me. If you're not enjoying it, blame Charlorella, because it was her idea. <laughs> we'll do one more outfit and then we'll do bikinis. My sister-in-law has a swimming pool in her garden and I am ready for this. And before anybody's like, oh, I wish I had a bikini body. Mate, everybody's got a bikini body. I don't care who you are. Ben's got a bikini body. So next I have this fantabulous Mary Wyatt. I think it's the Ripper vest. And I was a bit nervous to buy it because I don't like the top of my arms. I don't really like any part of me to be honest but I'm so glad I got this because the way the straps come is so flattering it says Mary White on the front in black and white kind of metal font and it is cropped but my my personal tip for cropped tops because I don't like my belly out but I love my belly out is high waist stuff so I got these jeans um, a very very long time ago from Boohoo and I can't remember if they were jeans and I cut them up or if I bought them like this, it's, I've had them for years, and they are high-waisted, and they're just extreme rips. So I can't, and like I had to even tie some up because they were so ripped. The only thing is, is um, because of how high these rips are here, you can see my vagina. So I will definitely put a pair of these fishnet shorts under them, um, which I think would make them look a bit cooler anyway. Let's have a look. I've got a couple of pairs of these, so I'll take both. Yes, yeah, so they will look like that 
rather than just skin and I think that's a bit more me and then I would probably actually put this chain with it this is so lightweight I think this came from Etsy because I'm not going to take any collars because when I'm hot and sweaty anything around my neck just makes me hotter and sweatier whereas these chains are most of them are acrylic and it's just so lightweight so that is outfit number I don't know I might even put a little chain or a belt with this maybe the other maybe whichever belt I take I'll put with this as well um, and oh 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 before I forget I also have this kind of beach over shirt it's this came from boohoo as well um, I got it from Depop honestly boohoo stuff on Depop is so cheap it's really long and black and it's got splits up I did wear this for my most recent um, haul video which I will link at the end with this top and I think these shorts actually so you can see it all together and it looked really nice it was perfect because I'm so short and stumpy imagine someone got an average height person and just went Neh. that's me that's me and my body shape but this gave me so much more confidence to wear the sleeveless top because I don't like my arms out and um, I'm gonna put this back on I feel naked without a necklace it gave me that little bit more confidence to just wear it because i i sweat in summer and i went so many years wearing tights every hot summer because i hated having my legs out and um, now the tattooed i feel a little bit more confident a little bit more comfortable i need to get to that point with my arms but i'm not quite there yet so having something like this to just chuck over it made a huge difference to me the sun and moon on the back are there i said in my haul and i'm still not even sure i think they're kind of like bleached in it's so weird there is texture to them but it just doesn't feel printed like i can't scratch it off and I, it's just odd it's just so odd to me so that's what that looks like i think that is so nice so casual and comfy as well because i will be playing with my nieces when we go to america and violet obviously so i want clothes that yeah they look really cool but i could also move and are very comfortable and i want to look like i made an effort when i go to walmart <laughs> to look at guns oh my god i'm shit myself do you want me to vlog america by the way all the states because i get told off when i say america when I work with an American lady and I asked her, I said, is it offensive if I say I'm going to America? And she's like, no, why would it be? She's from Philadelphia. And she's like, you are going to America. I was like, no, but is it offensive? Because I keep saying I'm going to America and a couple of people keep getting annoyed because apparently I'm not going to America, I'm going to the States. And she's like, the States are in America. She goes, it's exactly the same as if I said I'm going to the UK, but I was only going to England like I'm still going to the UK so I'm so confused but anyway that's outfit number again I don't know just be warned I can't remember if I did these slits or not but you can see flange don't worry I won't have a flange out around the children I do have some boundaries can't fold it up it's annoying me that I can't fold it nice to put in my suitcase <laughs> let's just yeah let's barrel roll it two outfits to go got one here let's let's do a bikini first right swim stuff i've just realized i'm missing the bottoms to this which really sucks because they're high waist and they're low bum i don't know um yeah so that really sucks i don't go swimming like a super huge amount but i love swimming um and we have actually just started going swimming more and more because it's such good exercise and the pool near us um, we go to Felix so and it has a slide and Violet just loves to go down the slide and I chucks you in the pool and I love it I have two swimming costumes I'll probably take both of them just so I can see which one I feel a bit more comfortable with to wear each day this is my first one this is I don't even know if this fits me actually it's a size 10 so probably not I'm gonna try it on it's been a very long time since I've worn this swimming costume because I always wear the other one. But let me try this because if I'm going to be around children, <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, okay, I can fit it over clothes. Oh, oh, oh. looks good, huh? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> okay, this is definitely coming with me. If it fits over clothes, it'll fit over my rolls. Arr! So this is my still fits apparently swimming costume this was from t no this was from jd sports a few years ago it's got the snow white queen maleficent and 
Ursula. I got this a long time ago, so there is a very high chance they won't sell it anymore. But it is official Disney, so you might be able to find it on some website that sells like old Disney stock. No, I'm so glad this still fits. So this is, and it's got a um, not too low back as well, which is good because don't like my body <laughs> and then the other swim costume I have is from too fast um, I'm not sure if they still make this but I do have a discount code for too fast and it is ding so uh, check out their website because they do have some really cool stuff and their swimwear it's limited sizing to be fair I have this in a um, a large and as a size 12 it fits me really well and it also fit me when I got to a size 14 because it's got quite a bit of stretch but bear in mind that a large is like 12 to 14. So this is my the bottoms for the bikini from Too Fast. They have little purple bats on them and it's all swimsuit material and it's got short pants, shorts underneath. So the reason I love this so much is it just covers up my butt, it covers up the top of my thighs. It's like you're wearing a little skirt but it's a swimming costume and it's very very comfortable the top isn't as comfortable and it is a molded bra i wish so much this had been like that stripy bu bikini top just kind of more like a what do you call them like a tankini a, a strappy you know what i mean like a top but it's de it's more of a bra and when i put some weight on and my boobs got to uh, a d cup it didn't fit as well. I've gone down to a C and it fits really well. And it's got exactly the same little bat designs on it. It's a really unique piece of clothing and I have yet to see anybody else at a swimming pool wearing the same set. The clasp at the back as well is quite nice. Um, it has never uh, come undone in the pool, which is an irrational fear of mine. Hey, I've seen Mr. Bean when his swim shorts come off in the pool. That has not happened and the straps are removable as well, which is kind of annoying because when I do go down the slide at the swimming pool, I think twice now the straps, one strap has come undone. The top hasn't fallen down, but one strap has come undone and it's a little bit annoying. And I've had this for about four or five years and obviously washed it every time we've gone swimming and lately we've gone swimming quite a lot and it still looks as good as the day I got it. Into the bag. Do you know what? I thought I was gonna have so many more clothes and not a lot of space, but I have so much space in here still. There is like not even half. I was panicking that I was gonna have not a lot of space in here, but there is loads. Maybe I can pack like some accessories and stuff. Right, maybe I can kill Violet and just pack her in my bag. Oh my God. <gasps> Don't call social services on me, I'm only joking. So where are we at? Oh my God, I need to keep a tally. Two more outfits. I'm thinking a dress. I've got those shorts. Should we do some shorts and then a dress? Right, so I've got these shorts which I got from EMP. I love them, I love them. Especially with the fishnet shorts underneath. It's one of my favorite summer outfits. Um, these are, the cobweb is embroidered on one pocket and then there is printed little goth emojis on the buttock. There is no stretch in these, but I got a 32 inch waist and I'm a size 12 and they fit perfectly. And they're not super, super short. And just to make them the little bit longer, they have this lace trim at the bottom, which is so nice. And it just kind of, it just jazzes them up a little bit. So I definitely want to take them. So I'm going to find a top to go with them. Right. Tippy toes. Let's find a top. I wore them the other day. Let's, let's do this properly. I wore them out the other day, actually, with this Killstar top, and they looked really, really nice. And I had the over shirt over it, and it was really gorgeous. But, oh, this goes see-through, and I just don't know if I want my titties hanging out in California. I'll put that on, like, the maybe pile. Oh, does anybody else have clothes that they are trying to fit into in their wardrobe? My friend gave me this dress ages ago. I was looking for it everywhere, and then she's... More, she's smaller than I am and she had it in a medium and she gave it to me and it is so beautiful. So we'll do a dress in a minute. I just need a top for that. Because those shorts are only very slightly high-waisted. They're not as high-waisted as I usually like. They come probably about like to my belly button. 
um, whereas I usually like my high waisted stuff a little bit higher so I do need a long top with it. I was thinking this Mary Wyatt but it's I think that's a bit too cropped for that top. How do I get through one night without you? Oh, what about this? I got this. Oh my god, yes, we are on it. This is also from EMP and it's no it's not. This is from HM. I I did get one from EMP, but it was a um, like a boxier one. This is from H&M and it's so thin and lightweight like look just look how lightweight that is and it's got some holes in it and do you know why it's got some holes in it because I put some safety pins in it so I might add some safety pins so that grunge it up a little bit that and that <gasps> maybe I'll wear that to Alcatraz <laughs> that is the outfit the outfit so we need one more look I'm thinking a dress so we've got two skirts two shorts trousers long dress we need a short dress so my dresses are here. I've got that one, which is just a really plain, casual, um, sheer dress. This is so casual cute. Because I got, you gotta remember, I'm gonna be walking around with Ben's sister, who is wonderful and amazing, but she don't wanna be walking around with her sister-in-law looking like a tramp. <gasps> okay, so this, this is one of my favorite dress <laughs> all my dresses this is my favorite dress i got this from don't know my neighbors are outside shouting i would show you but i don't want you to see where i live this is a kind of mid midi dress um and it's sleeveless which i do not like so i'll wear something over it the back is open as well so when you wear a bra it does come to about there and it's really i don't know i find it really off-putting seeing like the back of my bra but it is high neck and it's so lightweight yeah i think i'm gonna i think i think i'm gonna go this okay so let's style those bad boys up and then i think we're done <gasps> all my skanky washing in the background it's because while well, washing line and the back garden is broken and we don't have a tumble dryer because they're a waste of money and our bedroom is the warmest place in the house so everything just dries rise so fast in here um, and that coat is Violet's old coat ferret stole it so it's like ferret bedding now in case you're wondering why I'm washing a coat in the middle of summer it's a ferret bed so this is my gothicana shorts and I will wear these probably again with the fishnets underneath um, should we put it that way can you see it better that way yeah kind of and then this is the H&M t-shirt yeah very Pugsley Adams accessories I would probably that's got quite a baggy neckline so accessories I would probably wear the double one from Vicious Punks um, and if I was wearing it at home I would probably put a collar with it but like I said I get so sweaty in collars so I'm not gonna wear a collar and I might put the chain belt with it as well this is why I'm swaying more towards this belt because I feel like I can wear it with more outfits um, like that would look really cute on there as well. I would totally wear that. It's coming with me. <laughs> you're coming home with me. All coming back to me when you hold me like this. And last but not least, the vixen dress. This is beautiful. The bottom is all kind is all sheer mesh, and it's see-through. It does have a, an under under skirt as well, so don't worry, no one's gonna see your fanny flaps. It's got a skirt and then that's kind of the over skirt. This is beautiful and it's so, it's so free flowing. I don't know if they make this anymore, but if they do, I think actually you might be able to find it on eBay. I think there's one shop that sells it on eBay. It's beautiful. It has belt loops as well and it did come with this kind of faux leather, a waist it was awful a faux leather belt um but i chucked it out but 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 this dress with this belt and then i would probably put this chain with it again look at that that's so do you know what i feel like that's very la california goth i feel like yes I thought I already had my outfit planned for LA. I was going to wear the Mary White Maxi to go hang out with my friend, but I might wear this instead. Um, I just need to sort out what to do with the back because like I said, the back is really open and I just don't like having my bra strap showing through. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Might chuck some more clothes in. I feel like all the other ones, videos I watched of like, 
people packing. They had shit loads. There's me. Half my suitcase is empty. Am I packing wrong? Or am I just not a typical womb haver? that I don't take shit I don't need. I might try and fit this in that other suitcase because it's easier to carry. I do need to, oh, ferret hair. I do need to take my makeup. So should we pack that next? Yeah, let's do that. Because no one wants to see this outside. So I got, um, you can take your makeup in a clear bag. So I got this off eBay. It came in a pack of three, I think. And they were so cheap. They were like five, six pound. Get on me fun get on me so let's tip everything out and go through it i'm taking one palette with me i'm going to take my ethereality palette from jolie beauty it is my newest palette from them and i do have discount code i don't think this video has gone up yet so exclusive this palette is so beautiful and i feel like it's very summery alternative so i would usually take my let me show you the difference <gasps> one's clean and one isn't this is my sorceress palette from jolie and this is the difference so this is very this is a lot bolder a bit darker and this is my everyday palette but since i got this i've been using it a lot more than this one and i didn't think that would be the case just because these shades are a lot softer and with the blistering heat if they sweat off they aren't as noticeable and i can do daintier looks so this is the ethereality palette and i am going to be taking this with me let's put the plastic on there because emily's a dirty bitch oh will that fit in that bag or will i have to put it in my suitcase <gasps> it fits it fits oh my god it fits does it fit it just fits in there oh my god amazing so next i am taking my razor um i don't know if this is still safe to use but i got it a blood i used it for bloodstock last year i haven't used it since well no i did shave my leg with it the other day to make sure it was still all right to use uh it's like a travel razor absolutely terrible for the environment and it is a little cheap razor um, it's not cheap they're really expensive and it comes in this little travel case but like i said they are terrible for the environment because it's just all plastic and you chuck it away when it's done uh you can recycle it and i will keep this little pot for something probably just like contact lenses like chuck the little pods in there or something the head does come off so you can just keep you can buy the little heads and just use keep using this so maybe it's not as bad but i'm not a waxer i'm a shaver and i'm not even that oh no i've trapped it it's trapped so this is the the gillette venus little travel razor and like i said i used it at bloodstock last year it's probably full of bacteria i should probably buy a new one but i'm not going to yeah they're they're pretty good if you're going to festivals to be honest next i will be taking my oh you can take up to 100 milliliters of liquid makeup so anything like this this is uh 70 5.2 grams and this is the neo med piercing aftercare fine mist this is the only thing i use on my piercings and because my nose is still healing especially after i just smacked it with the light i will be taking this with me and we're going swimming so i will have to make sure i shouldn't really go swimming because my piercing will be less than six weeks old i'm going to anyway and um i will just clean i will just make sure that it's doubly clean with this after every time i go swimming and morning and night and everything into the bag with you so this will go in my hand luggage so i'll put it in there in my suitcase so i've got it ready but it will be in my hand luggage i actually washed my brushes only three of them and i will be taking this one from my jolie beauty palette um this will be for my translucent powder and this is technique super fine translucent powder and it is 12 grams so it's good I have 100, I think it's 100 mil. I did double check. Yes, 100 mil of micellar water. And I'll use this just to clear my face every day. Because I actually don't think I'm going to wear that much makeup. Because if it's like today, it would just sweat off. And I am a very sweaty person. My face is just red. And all I've been doing is sitting here talking to you about clothes. And I am a sweaty bitch right now. Setting spray, it's nearly all gone. 18 mil. This is uh, NYX Fine Matte Setting Spray into the bag. I am actually not going to take foundation with me uh, because I don't think I'm gonna wear it because it's so hot. I haven't been wearing foundation. 
Um, even for the last few of my videos, I haven't had foundation on. I've just had concealer. Okay, it doesn't look as clear or as smooth on my skin as foundation does, but it's so much easier for my skin to breathe. My skin doesn't feel as blocked as it does with foundation. It just doesn't feel as heavy. It's hard to explain. So I will be taking the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Corrector. I love this. And it's got a little tab on the top. So when it's in a pot like this and, and everything looks the same, I just look for the little tab. Easy. How many mil is this? I don't want it taken off me. 2.8 mil into the bag. Ugly sponge for my concealer. Then I do eyebrows. I have Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and it's 2.5 mil. I love the pen on this. I actually hated it when I first got it. Someone sent it to me and I hated it. And the more I used it, the more I love it. It's so perfect for doing your eyebrows and it is waterproof as well. I have 3-in-1 e.l.f. Mascara, shade very black. I, I don't know how much mil it is. There are no ingredients on the packaging. That's a little bit worrying. Is there anything in it? Oh, there's like hardly anything in it. Maybe I won't take that. I don't know if I have any other. I'm gonna take that mascara anyway because I don't have another one. Eyeliner, I'm gonna take my Deadly Sins Cosmetics Eyeliner Pen. Love that. I actually have a couple of those. I'm gonna take, and I have a Jolie Beauty one as well, which I'm going to take. As well as my Jolie Beauty infinity gel liner um this is from the next video i i got this very recently as well so that's coming with me three grams i've got to keep checking because i'm so scared i'm gonna get to the airport and they're gonna go through my makeup and go ma'am this is above whatever grams you need and they'll take my makeup off me and then i'll cry i will take some of these brushes they are beauty bay makeup brushes but i'm gonna clean them before i take them but i haven't even used these ones but all these ones i have so i'm gonna clean them and then i will take those simple hydrating light moisturizer so i can moisturize my skin after a hot day and that is 50 mil kind to skin with the vitamins shaver this is not what it looks well it is what it looks like it is a bikini trimmer um but i use this to shave my head it is perfect for shaving just these little bits and I don't have to worry about taking shears. I don't like to razor shave it. That's a little bit too close, but a bikini trimmer is freaking perfect. And then last but not least, I have Jolie Beauty Lipstick in shade Bittersweet. It is a beautiful kind of mauve. It's really hard to see, mauve -y purple. I will also be taking my Killstar Coven Black Lipstick shade void it comes off when i eat but it's really comfortable to wear i'm trying to think of other stuff now because i was so unprepared for this i've got like hair bands sun cream yeah i can't think what else i need let me know if there's anything that i have forgotten like pants and socks i'll chuck in there bras as well but if there is anything else you think i will need let me know and i can last minute pack it so i'm gonna keep this in my carry on so that they can go through it and make sure i'm not making a bomb out of eyeliner i feel like my suitcase isn't as full as it should be for two weeks what am i forgetting i've got pajamas i've got clothes i've got two pairs of shoes socks and pants i'll do is that everything i haven't been on an airplane since i was like 11. um ben will do charges and all the electronics portable charges i have things to do on the plane i'm gonna buy a crossword book so they will all go in the the whole the carry-on but anything else you think i have i have forgotten let me know i'm gonna take this off so that i can put this in the bag because if i forget something really important i'm gonna blame you so i think that is it guys um thank you so much for watching my pack with me video i've never done one of these so i hope it was enjoyable and i'm sweating like a pervert in mother care i hope you enjoyed this let me know if oh, let me know if you'd like to see more of these but i don't go anywhere so i'm not going to do any more of these but if you enjoyed it you know if i go away again i'll do another one so uh let me know if you'd like to see american america if you'd like to see travel vlogs and also let me know if you would like to see um um like me wearing the outfits because i'm gonna wear each one twice i could do like seven outfits couldn't i, I could show you what they all look like I'm panicking now. The anxiety is panicking me. Like, what have I forgotten? Save me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon with another video, and then I will be on holiday. Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself, and most of all, wear sunscreen. Take a fan with you. 
and stay safe in this heat. We're all going on a summer holiday. Gonna pack my bag and forget all my stuff. <laughs> oh, I've definitely forgotten loads of stuff. <laughs>